What is up you beautiful farmers, it's your boy Carl. And if you don't know me, I'm a 28 year old sheep farmer and sheep shearer from Sligo in the Northwest Ireland. So something different today. We are at the Carrick Prolific Lamb Breeders sale and we've got 30 lambs here. So basically this sale has been running for about four years. It's by farmers for farmers and the aim of it is for farmers to bring their yo lambs for the purposes of breeding together and kind of give them a platform in order to attract good buyers and get good money for them basically. So this is our second year of bringing lambs here and last year we got on good enough with our lambs. Not everyone was happy with their prices last year. There was quite a lot of lambs last year, but we got on pretty good. So we said, we'll try again. We'll bring them back. It hasn't been going that long, but at least the idea of it in theory makes sense anyway. And um, I guess yeah, everyone is hoping that there'll be a good sale this year. We've got three pins of lambs and they are shepherd lambs out of blackface yours. The man of the hour, watching him as he goes about his work, Mr. James Dunn. What are you judging now, James? So, judging the mules, um, Aberfields and Chevy across class. Yeah, that's the three categories. That's oh, yeah. the three categories. It'll be first, second and third. Absolutely. Right. So these are Aberfields. They're a Texel, Blue Leicester cross. They're fine lamb, aren't they? Good lamb. Mm. What are you looking for? For something nice and sharp, clean, good bodies, yeah. good skins. Yeah. yeah. Breeding qualities. Make mm. a nice, make a nice show, you know. Mm. What's the best pen, Heather? Our pen. Our pen. Lovely stuff. First place. Texel cross, yeah? First in the Texel cross. Oh, yeah. Car, yeah. Oh, One of the big buyers is after landing. <laughs> The fate of the sale rests on his shoulders. Thank you. So the sale's on the way. They didn't get any prize. There was a mountain cross category and they didn't get any prize, so James didn't sort us out, but nah, no worries. It's not about rosettes, just really kind of a pride thing. The main thing is that they fetch enough money. That's the, when you bring lambs to a sale, when you go to the work of rearing them from, from when they're born to when they're sold, it's, the money is the main thing to uh, keep the business going and keep the thing fine. So I'm here with young Kevin Keeney, who's got this first five pins of lambs. Very best of stock. Are you looking forward to selling them? I know, shall we see how we get on? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully get a good price. Ah, hopefully no, that's yeah. all yeah. Well, had you kind of, so when you've got the five pins here, if you got it in, like, figures in your head for each of the pins, what would you like? Look, ah, killing price is something we're looking for. Yeah. Well, like, if we got more of them, should we be happy enough? But yeah. killing price is the little least we pay for them. This one's got a prize. Second. Yeah, second prize in the Texel Cross, was it? Texel Cross. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. They're a fantastic lamb. Did they get any nuts? Oh, not enough, Kevin. No, not enough. Came, there you go. Must have been good land. Delvin, so. Yeah. So. But came. you're not from up there yourself. Oh, right? no, we're from Rosenberg and County Leitrim. Up there, Leitrim, Jersey. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what I like right to say. Right in the Jersey, <laughs> You're doing a bit of clipping too, aren't you? I know, we wee bit that much. Yeah. What age are you? 15. 15. 15, 15 the year. I turned 16 now, we went into uh, November. You're only a cub yet, man. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm only uh, 28. <laughs> <laughs> sure uh, you've a good share by 28 if you keep at it. Oh, what draws you to shearing? And farming and sheep in general. Bit of an addiction, isn't it? I'm like you're reared with it, aren't you? I'm like myself. And I just yeah. like, took a liking to it when I was young and that yeah. was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just get to love slobber. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's all it is. And hardship and torture. Oh, torture. <laughs> <laughs> So we're back here with Keeney's lambs and they made 166 and Mr. Sean O'Hare bought them. But Sean also watches me on YouTube. Fair play to you. Great purchase. Thank you. You're happy with them. Yeah, yeah. I caught your eye going in, did they? Yeah. What, what is it that you like about them? Uh, they're pretty 
great heads. I like the big ears and the good length and they're tipped yeah. too, they're fat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big strong lengthy yeah. linemen, aren't they? They're great. They you. You'll put a ram with them now, will you? Yeah. Oh, put a soft text ram. Put a soft text ram with them. Yeah. You'll have some big lambs coming next yeah. spring. Yeah. Straight away. Or um, close not it's supposed to be a bit early. Mm. Good stuff. Yeah. Have you much sheep at home, have you? Uh, 40 or 50. 40 or 50. Yeah. More these kind of sheep or with your uh, Suffolk yeah, yours? Or? Yeah, yeah. Do you enjoy the videos? Yeah. Very good. I watch everyone. Ah, great. That's great to hear. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Which, uh, what do you think of our mountain stock? It'll be very different from yours. Uh, a bit different from that. Yeah. The gang is looking very serious here. <laughs> Getting down to the business end of it, our lambs are coming up now. There's three farmers with Chevet lambs, and it's near the end of the sale, so yeah. Well, fingers crossed, hopefully there's a few customers for them and they go well. Myself, Dad and Heather around to loading up the lambs again. Not ideal, not what you want. You want to get rid of them, but a wee bit disappointing, Dad. I am a bit, no, yeah. It's just You're a bit early for you to lamb as well, I think. So. Yeah. yeah. But this is our second year bringing lambs and um, we got on good enough last year. We're happy, like you never, you're never going to get as much for mountain black face cross lambs as for the bigger, stronger no, lowland ones. More later. Yeah. But at the same time, we still want what we were getting. We were getting 100 for two pins and 90 for the lighter ones, it's just it's not enough money. Not enough money, so, but sure look, that's the way it works, some sales you're, some sales you're just not going to get away, like, and if you're not getting what, you're, what you need to get, then. It's not really a hill country, I suppose, part of it's just. Yeah. I'm a big fan of going to Mars, really into the road after the middle of September. Mm. They irrigate yourself from the different things. Yeah. Farmers, if their hog is gone, there's more, more of a bite for them getting across with Yeah, lambs. that's a good point. And it's a little bit early for our lambs yet. They'll get a bit stronger too, you know. So, like it's only very early September. The is just a bit sluggish at the moment. Too. Mm -hmm. Look, it's not the end of the world. We'll march on to the next one.